doesn't love the fall colors? I do. So let's play with the fall colors. We're gonna start by washing our face and then doing some moisturizer. I usually do the Obagi, it's the best for my face. And then I'm going to prepare my eyelids by applying some primer. I'm using the Laura Mercier primer. And then concealer. The concealer of choice today is Kosas. I've been using Kosas now for a couple of months and I am very uh, pleased with what it can do. So here I am applying the technique that I learned from a uh, very well-known artist, Wayne Goss. And he suggests that you start on all of your like shadows first like the corner of your eye and then you look down and you can see where your shadows are instead of just going all over like crazy and then ending up looking like a raccoon this is what i do i just do some spots here and there that i know they are going to be a little red because it's sensitive skin and then i look for my shadows and that's where i apply the concealer so thank you Wayne um, then I proceed to blend all that in with a sponge I'm using my beauty blender and it's dry actually I do not wet the sponge for this maybe I should be wetting it I don't know what do you think do you wet your sponge when you put in the concealer uh, now I can use the three colors of choice. And today I'm going to use the Anastasia palette. They're really, really highly pigmented eyeshadows. They're beautiful. I have had these palettes for a while. And sometimes, you know, I get stuck when I'm applying if I'm not using the right brush. So I started with this brush. I'm just going to keep going with this brush. So I use like a maroon, beautiful maroon color and then orange and like a mustard uh, color next almost like a camel because mustard is too bright so yes i look like a little turkey like i'm doing a an arts and crafts project with my students in my classroom so it just feels that way so it's fun it's all good so we blend in these colors basically on the crease of my hooded eyes and then uh, like in between the colors. So the lines are not so harsh, you know? It's like it was meant to be together like that. Keeping with the theme of fall, all the fall colors. So this is a long process because I'm using highly pigmented eyeshadows. So it takes a while. You have to have patience for this. Then I proceed to do kind of a um, wing eye. I cannot do a wing eye for the life of me with the, uh, you know, those things that they use for. So I just use eyeshadow. Eyeshadow to me is the easiest thing for a wing eye or just making like that kind of triangular shape at the end i just use eyeshadow and it just stays perfect you know it's nothing harsh nothing too prominent it's just it's just nice it just looks nice all together So I use different brushes, you know, some are thicker, some are flat. And uh, I use the camel color for under my eyelash on the bottom. And then a shimmer. So the shimmer is, uh, to me, is easier to put it on your finger first and then kind of press it gently on the eye. And then with a brush, you're going to blend this like very 
ever so gently so it's not all over my eyelid i do not want this shimmer all over my eyelid just to the corner of the eye and now with a makeup by mario palette oh this is a beautiful palette by the way i'm so happy i got it uh, i use it every day for my daily makeup i'm just going to use the white on here just to give my eye some dimension because I'm, I have used so many dark colors. And uh, so it gives the illusion that my eyelid is actually bigger than it is. I don't have big eyelids. So I work with what I have. Now I'm doing my second eye. And this is what I have so far. So I got a little distracted by then. So I, um, I forgot the steps that I usually follow, like my eyebrows and my eyelashes, but whatever. We're gonna do foundation next. So for my foundation, my favorite foundation of all is Tom Ford on the stick. It is the best foundation. It is pricey. But boy, is it worth it. It is the best. I am not wearing any other foundation by any other brand ever again. This foundation really keeps my, my face clean and free of like acne or dryness or any kind of problems. I do have a tendency to have rosacea and this foundation is like the only foundation that has helped me with that. Uh, my blush that I use is Dior. My eyelashes, the mascara that I use is from uh, Rare Beauty. And here I am preparing my lips. Uh, Rare Beauty again, the lip liner and, and lipstick combo. And before that, I sometimes use a little bit of uh, concealer around my lips and it just uh, keeps the lipstick from running all over the place anyhow this is the finished look please tell me in the comments what do you think what are your suggestions do you like this look would you do it have you done it thank you for watching